girl groups. But soon, the entire rule book would be torn up completely, like a dog eating your homework. The 90s brought a new generation of girls, but for these girls, there were no rules. My ambition is obviously to make it really big. We all want to, you know, we want to do Top of the Pops and... I think I'm strong enough to stay the same person inside. So I'm a pretty down-to-earth person anyway, so I don't think that can change. If there's a god out there, I think we should make it. The rest is on to get out of the bottom. I remember being in year five at school and my friend coming in and saying, oh my God, like there's a new girl band. I was like, yeah? Like, it was just mad. Well, they did create a new way of thinking because people never thought of girl bands as having individual personalities. Uh, and all standing for something different, yet all standing together. This new type of girl group was formed in 1993, when pop was ruled by boys and not girls. I wasn't really getting the rest of the, the music at the time, apart from a couple of boy bands, you know, I really liked a bit of Take That and a bit of Boy's Own. But as a young girl, there was nothing for me. Spotting a gap in the market, a former co-manager of the Three Degrees got together with his son and put out an advert for something different. We were auditioned uh, way back in 93 and um, by our, our first management. You've all, always got to kind of be working, I think, on the, you know, the, the reverse cycle. So at a time when there's the, the, the market's kind of flooded with boy bands, it was just time to you know, start prepping a girl band. Have you thought much about what you think lyrically would make um, sense of where you're at? We don't really want to think about the yeah, we don't want... sort of thing, really. We were covering the songs that had been written for us and, you know, dressing the same, and we really weren't happy with the direction things were going in, and I think quite early on we felt we had something very, very special. Because we all live together, we've really got to know each other, and we're just a group now, that's it. Just a group, nothing's going to break us up. And, you know, we really pushed each other on, and I think, you know, a huge driving force behind that, it has to be said, was Jerry Halliwell. Without me, they're nothing. I promise. When... These girls refused to be groomed by their managers. They wanted in on the action and weren't afraid to stick up for themselves. Well, I think, no, but that's bollocks. But about. I think it's because, because you're who, old. Who, who influenced about the army trousers? Do you yeah, me? Yeah, I, no, I think I've rubbed onto them in a positive yeah, way. Yeah, I think there are certain sides which have rubbed onto them in a positive way. This was a girl group that bit back. They walked out on their managers. We did a bit of a midnight flit and, you know, we left our first management. We kind of felt that, you know, they didn't really know what they were doing at the time. So that was it. I mean, you know, that was one of the first examples of girl power, really. You know, the, 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 the loonies had taken over the asylum. With little more than enormous self-belief and ridiculous clothing, the girls set out to find a record deal and a manager, but a manager they would choose. Once we knew what we wanted to do and how we wanted to present ourselves, we then went and auditioned our managers. When we were introduced to Sam and Fuller, the album was written, you know, it was there. I was in the tracksuit, Victoria was in, you know, it may not have been Gucci, but she was smart. And, you know, Emma had a little pigtails and... It, Jerry's always been a bit wacky, and that's how we turned up at his offices. And, um, you know, a very astute businessman saw that there was, a, there was something here. Wannabe was already recorded by the time they got a record deal. We were blitzed, I think. Jerry sat on my lap and one thing or another, it was like, so, oh, my God. And they were good at it. They were just so fresh and vibrant, and they did sort of a wannabe routine that they'd obviously, you know, well, well rehearsed and everything in front of us. A lot of it was bravado, uh, but it, it kind of worked. If you want to be my lover. In some ways, I think we used to terrorise men, you know, but we were doing it for the women. We were out there getting our own back. <laughs> With the major label behind them, the girls were an instant global success, and each hit was an authentic slice of spice. 
If you really wanted to know, you'd look and you'd see we did co-write every single one of our songs. We did have a massive say on what we wore, what videos we did, how the videos were shot. We approved everything. The rest is on to get out of the bottom. But while the girls felt they were taking all the decisions, everything was actually being overseen by manager Simon Fuller. He rather cleverly encouraged them all to be more of who they are rather than less of who they are. Uh, and that, that was their empowerment. The chemistry with the girls and with the, with the girls in the audience, that's not manufactured. Please welcome Spice Girls. Hey! When they first started, they weren't so well groomed. That's what I really liked about them. They were all a bit like, a bit more fun and wore. The, they literally were wearing their own clothes. You know, someone from the record company didn't go out and buy them these clothes. We were really rough and a bit more just thrown together. Time is it? <laughs> Young girl fans saw that the Spice Girls had something real something doctors now call girl power. It used to be a man's world, now I think it's a girl's world. I think it's a girl's world now. It's just really nice to have girls out there doing mm. the same thing and they look to be having so much fun that it was a real, like, come on the girls yeah. kind of thing. Everyone's, like, realised, you know, that girl power is such a big thing and it's true, isn't it? I think we open the door for women to be confident and feel, you know, comfortable with themselves. It wasn't to sell records, it wasn't to make the guys go, wow. But Spice was now an international business and the DIY approach couldn't continue. It wasn't the manager, but success itself that tamed the Spice Girls. In came the stylists and the choreographers and the girls were now a pop product. But then they took decisive action to take control again. They sacked Fuller in the autumn of 1997. But not even the Spice Girls could control a global brand. I don't think they realised the infrastructure that a manager can surround a group with a support network. The roller coaster ride continued. But by the following spring, something had to give, something ginger. And then there were four. People were broken hearted when they split up. They couldn't bear it that they all fell out because girl power was supposed to be about getting on and getting on together. So it made the whole thing seem a sham. After Jerry split, the girls went their separate ways and found a different sort of fame. As a band, they bypassed managers and reached out directly to young girls and became the best-selling girl band ever. I see girls here, there, and everywhere. Short skirts, long hair, love when they walk. The Spice Girls brought the girl group formula bang up to date. In the 10 years since Wannabe, there's been an endless production line of girl groups. But today's girl groups are such pop products, they sometimes make Barbie look real. I think a lot of groups are being told to sell records, you have to wear this, you have to dress like particularly like this, with these bits showing, and you have to sing like this, and you have to act like this in interviews, and you have to turn up to this press release to get this shot, to get in that paper. I'm like, wow, that's so much. You're told the fine line, isn't yeah. this? Like, you've got to be this kind of role model that kids look up to, but at the same time, you've got to be a normal girl yourself and do what you want to do. But manufactured, groomed or self-created, whatever tune they're jumping to, girl groups still rule. The beat goes on. Jumping.